the really neat features of VisMe is that you have the ability to pretty much animate and uh, add interactivity to every single object including text, icons, or pretty much anything else that you want. Let me show you how that's done. So uh, first you got to decide what you want to animate. In this case what I want to do is give some interactivity here and to these objects here. So what I can do is uh, you just literally click and then you select from the options for the animate this object. So what I'm going to do is uh, you have ability, of course, to decide you want to come from the left, the right, the top, the bottom, uh, fade in, and even pop out. So what I want to do is something very simple and subtle. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this from the left. What I want to do is have this object and this object come from the left, and then I have this object and this object uh, move in from the right side. So let's see how, let's show you how that is done. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the presentation uh, icon so I'll go ahead and have that come from the left as well um, and then what I can do is have this object come from the right side now notice over here I can tell to start at uh, when I actually wanted to bring in so perhaps I want this to come in at one second and then I want uh, the documentation uh, to come in at 1.5 seconds okay so I'll go ahead and add that in uh, and for these objects, all I want to do is to have them fade in. So I'll go ahead and actually tell it to fade at, let's say, 2.5 seconds. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other objects as well. So this one I'm also going to say 2.5. And I will go ahead and apply the same thing to this one as well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one out because I want to show you there's another way to actually add timing. And if you notice, if I go to my objects list, and this is where you can actually see every single layer of your project, that by adding the time frames, you see the 1 second, the 1.5, what I can do is by inputting those, I was actually able to add values of when objects will show. And if you notice, I didn't do it for these two icons at the very beginning because I can go ahead and actually do the same thing from here. So what I can do is tell this to be one and then bring the icons. If I want to see which one item it is, I can go ahead and tell it that I want the gears to come in. So you see when I click on it, I can see which object I've selected. Um, and then I have my text objects coming in and in the text document, I'm going to go ahead and have that appear at the same time. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. If I click preview, I can actually see the animation and how things are coming in. Okay, so there's a very kind of a neat uh, quick fade effect that I've done in. So I go ahead and I should play this out. All right, and so there's my object. And what I did was I noticed that the document is not coming in at the right time. So I'll go ahead and then click on it and see my objects list. And I see that that's coming in at uh, 1.5, so perhaps what I want to do it, um, have it come in a little bit later. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go at 0.5 seconds and move all of these back one half second. And then what I could do is maybe have the objects coming in at a um, organized 1.5. So let's go ahead and preview this one more time, add a little bit of variation here. So as you can see, I have the objects coming at a different time. So what I want to do then, I want to do something different here. I want to go ahead and custom solutions. Uh, I want to go ahead and add an effect where it comes in from the top. And I want it to come in at maybe uh, 2.0, 1.0 second. Okay. And then what I want to do is also have the our services coming in and just fading itself at the very beginning. And I want this object here to do the same thing. So I'll click that and apply a perhaps a move from the right to the left at 1.5 seconds. Okay, and let's see what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and preview this. And there it is. I've got my animations coming in. Okay, now there's one more thing you can do. I mean, you can apply these animations to anything from presentations, infographics, and so on. But in the case of presentations where there's different slides, what you can then do is actually go in and apply a transition effect between that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a transition here. And I want to say that I want uh, to apply a um, scroll. 
and I want it to be applied to all the slides. So once I do that, there will be a transition between each of these slides. So let's see what we have here. So there is a transition where there's a scroll, and when I get to the very last one, the scroll appears, the transition appears, and there's my animation effects. So it's very quite simple the way you can actually animate in Visme. I go ahead and try it and uh, enjoy giving some life to your presentations.